Right, it's um, a fireside rant. Well, it's actually a bit of advice about travelling. I'm off to Asia again in a few weeks. And um, I thought I'd just give you a couple of travel trips. I do a lot of travelling and have done for a long time now. And there's a couple of little tips about hotels. I'll start with the check-in process. When you check in with the airline, if you haven't got first class or business class, just say you've got an economy seat, just be nice to the people that you're checking in to, smile at them, make eye contact, and just ask them if there are any upgrades available. Quite often, you'll get bumped up to economy premium or business class for a few dollars or nothing at all. I, I have one trip to uh, the United States where they, they, they bumped me up to business class for free. That doesn't happen very often. And on the return trip I asked again and they wanted a thousand US dollars and I just said no. Anyway, that, that's that part of it. When you get to your hotel, if you haven't already booked and paid for it, and the first person you meet, which is usually the receptionist, uh, if you have a problem with them, you're always going to have a problem with that hotel and just turn around and walk out of there. Because if the first person you meet is trouble, then that hotel is going to be a nightmare to stay in. Um, like I'm off to Malaysia again, probably Thailand, maybe China, uh, depending on visas. Now, if you go to Kuala Lumpur, stay at the One World Hotel. You won't find anything better for about, oh, probably about 100 New Zealand a night now. It's five star. You get a beautiful breakfast, you get a cocktail hour, uh, you get free parking, um, it's worth the money. Now, once you check into a hotel, don't don't treat the people that work there like they, they're your slaves. Treat them like they're your best friend. And if you do that, they'll do anything for you. Like when I stayed at the, the One World in Malaysia, I've stayed there a few times, uh, I made friends with like all, all the doormen, a, a bunch from Malacca. It's a Muslim hotel, you just got to accept that. And <laughs> they were the greatest people in the world. We, we had a, a day trip to Malacca, they, they planned a whole itinerary out for me, where to go, what to do, where to eat. They did everything for it, it just made it so easy. And it's quite funny, I used to go out about six in the morning, have a, have a, have a cigarette, say good morning to him and chew the fat a bit. And every morning I went out and there was this rooster crowing. And uh, one morning there was no rooster. I said, what happened to the rooster? They just smiled and said, because they all, they're all from Malacca, they just smiled and said, uh, that was last night's dinner. <laughs> it was funny, you know, one, one, of, one of the men was the chief of the village and it was Ramadan and they couldn't eat until he got back there. So I said, what happens if, you, if you're late or don't get back? He said, they go hungry. But anyway, that's just a little tip. If, if you treat these people like they're your best friends, they'll do anything for you. Treat them like they're a slave and they'll bite you in the ass. Anyway, that's just a, a couple of little travel tips. I've probably got a heap more up my sleeve, but this is long enough. Bye.